More than anything, I am representing uh, small producers from Santa Elena, and, and I'm grateful for that opportunity. <laughs> this is my grandma, Adelina. She is the woman who raised me. She was a teacher, a community leader, and a coffee producer in Santa Elena, a small municipality that shares a border with El Salvador. We're 20 minutes away from the border. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> um, growing up in Santa Elena in a family that grows coffee is a family affair. Um, growing up, I remember going to my grandma's farm to pick coffee. Um, when I immigrated to the U.S., I wanted to start a company um, for a small coffee producers so they could increase their earnings while improving uh, their, their quality of life. The reason why I name um, the company Catracha is because Catracha is the nickname for a Honduran woman, and I'm Honduran. Another reason why starting Catracha has changed my life is because for me it's a way to reconnect with my family and also a way to embrace my grandma's legacy for community empowerment. When I started working for Royal, uh, my eyes were open to a whole world of small coffee producers with the same challenges and dreams as the producers from Santa Elena. Through these experiences, I have come to believe that roasters, importers, and consumers working together can change the lives of millions. Today, I want to introduce you to a very special family. Rosibel is my cousin. We both grew up together, and Tonio is her husband. We both inherited small farms, coffee farm from our grandma Adelina. Rosibel is a teacher, like my grandma, and Tonio is a farmer. They have about five acres of land dedicated to coffee production. In the past, Rosie has sold her coffee and cherry to a middleman. The challenge they face was pricing, but she's not alone. There are 400 other producers in Santa Elena with the same challenge. In 2010-2011, Rosibel and Tonio agreed to process their coffee and sold it to Catracha for a better price than what the middleman was paying them. Catracha imported the coffee. We sold it to a company in Oakland, Roscoe, who was willing to pay more than the sea market for the coffee. This experience motivated Rosibel and other small producers in Santa Elena to produce quality coffee. The next year, we hosted trainings for the farmers because we want them to know the expectations, for them to know a clear path on how to produce a specialty coffee. Those are coffee selection and preparation of organic fertilizers. Shah from Blue Barrel, Alex from Roscoe, and Max from Royal visited the farmers in Santa Elena and cup coffees with the farmers. This was a very important event in our community and for the farmers, that's the first time they actually got to taste their own coffee, exported coffee. With logistical support from Royal and higher prices for the improved quality, Catracha generated its first profit, and we gave it all back to the producers who sold the coffee to Catracha, including Rosibel Antonio. Profits were paid in July, which, as we know, that's the time when the farmers run out of money to take care of the farms. When the profits were paid, it was also the months, what we call thin months. And this is when the farmers don't have money to take care of their farms, but also when families go hungry. We repeated the same profit sharing on 2013 and 2014 giving the profits back to the producers, continuing to buy coffee 
from the producers and returning the profits once the coffee was sold in the specialty coffee market. Profit sharing has become the foundation of, of the Catracha business model. Rosibel and Antonio are using their profits to make improvements for, at their farm, and that also has helped them to improve the quality of their coffee. That old fermentation tank is a reminder of how much improvements we're making in just a few years. This year, Rosibel and Antonio are collecting data from their farm for a quality project. They have a data logger to measure temperature and humidity, and a pH meter to measure fermentation. They are also collecting data as they are processing the coffee. Now, when we cup the coffees, we're gathering all of this information, and our hope is to share the results with the producers so they can make informed decisions on how to process their coffee. This year, we have 38 small coffee producers from Santa Elena who will access the specialty coffee market through Catracha Coffee. Catracha's goal is to open this opportunity to every producer in Santa Elena, no matter how small. I want to share some of the lessons learned from Catracha and from working with Rosibel and Antonio. Giving them recognition has empowered them to make better decisions in the farm. And crediting them for their labor has also returned, has also formed a great community in Santa Elena. For Catracha, it starts by paying a price that complements the value of their coffee, crediting the producer as the coffee moves through the supply chain, and returning profits back to the producer. Baristas play an important role, as we all know. And in this case, we have the Mart competing with one of the Catracha's coffees at the Big Western Barista competition. This was a really important experience for the producers in Santa Elena and also for myself and the Mart. The Mart learning about the producers helped him to share their, their story and also made the experience a better experience for the, for the people drinking the coffee. This is a message from the producers that the producers send to the Mart right before the competition. We're also grateful to Sarah Gerber, a filmmaker, who made a documentary about coffee producers in Santa Elena. This documentary has screened at multiple locations throughout the world, and the most exciting screening was in Santa Elena for more than 800 members of the community. My grandma has given me a lot of inspiration, and from my experience, I believe we need to engage producers about their lives beyond coffee. I want Catracha to be a business that promotes cooperation, solidarity, vision, leadership, and community empowerment. Catracha producers who make changes in their community and use these values to promote more collaboration. I believe that the real change at origin comes from the small producers who make improvements or who make impact in their own communities. And I would like to give you some examples of what the producers have done in Santa Elena. They hosted a medical brigade with Honduran medical doctors. We also hosted a two-day youth conference for children of coffee producers, because we want to engage them in coffee production. And we had also volunteers from Honduras volunteering their time, um, providing information and workshops about coffee quality, jewelry making, family gardens, cooking with the vegetables they grow, music, crafts, and self-esteem. Women have also formed a small group, and our goal is for them to diversify their incomes. And we're partnering with the International Women Coffee Alliance to raise funds for the startup cost of this project. Women play an important role for, in Catracha 
and we want to recognize them for it. Catracha wouldn't work without my mom's help. She is the one who manages all of the logistics in Honduras. The list of contributions from the small coffee producers can be endless if, we, if they are empowered to make a difference in their community. Their contributions are a great value for everyone in the supply chain because a, coffee, a prosperous coffee community will bring you coffee year after year. The alternative is a community that walks away from coffee. Working with the small coffee producers, as we all know, takes a lot of time, energy, and money. But the impact from doing so has a real value for everyone in the supply chain. Catracha is committed to making these connections more accessible to roasters and consumers. I believe there are many other organizations, companies, and individuals with the same goals and the same commitment. Our collaboration is an opportunity to make prosperous communities or to help communities to be prosperous. So they continue to produce great coffee, especially with the current demand for great coffee. To end, I would like the last words to come from Santa Elena. We are small at the level of what is the sector cafetalero Honduran or mundial, but it's a cafe special. Bien, en un inicio cuando se nos presentó la oportunidad de poderle vender café a Catracha, no creía. Lo, vi, lo, lo miraba difícil, como ir al espacio, por la razón de que yo conozco lo que es la comercialización, la exportar. Pero aún así yo tuve la voluntad y, y la visión y participé. Porque dije yo, bueno, nada pierdo con, con participar. Y luego, cuando participamos, vimos que sí funcionó porque pudimos enviar nuestro café a los Estados Unidos. Ya en el segundo año, en la temporada recién pasada, yo pude ver el saco con mi nombre, el nombre de los otros miembros de mi familia. Para mí fue algo impactante, algo que me, me motivó. Eso me compromete. Ahora sí, digo yo, Catracha es nuestra. Es nuestra y tenemos que hacernos una cadena. Please support the small coffee producers. Thank you.